Yo, yo, what's up everyone? John here with Web Dev for You, here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I'll continue my casually building in Webflow series. Uh, this is part two of the workspace template. And again, if you're new to Webflow, you can sign up for Webflow in the description area below. Uh, and there's some other resources um, down in the description area. So I'll go ahead and start the timer. And let's go ahead and start it. And let's go to the workspace template. Let me uh, mute, or no, it should be silenced there now. Um, so we were working on this left part here on the template, and we have the heading. Um, let's go ahead for the all H1 headings, let's make it um, black and not gray. And for the paragraph, let's go ahead and style the paragraph. Um, so it's 14, line height of 32. So let's go, actually let me come into here. Yeah, let's do that for the all paragraphs. So the text is Poppins and 14 and a line height of 32. And I'm just grabbing that from here. And the color is, we'll make it this kind of grayish color. And we'll save that to the global swatches so we can access it later. And let's work on this button here, this get started button. And we'll just call this hero button. And we won't style the all button class for this. No, um, and we'll make the background orange. And the text is Poppins. And yeah, let's double click on this text here. Uh, 16 and 24. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll say sign up. I think it's sign up or get started. Get started. Okay, that looks pretty good. And let's just add some padding to the left and right here. I'm holding down shift to add more padding. And I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Maybe a little more padding to the top. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, and let's go ahead and click on inspect. 16 pixels from the bottom, so to the heading, we'll say 16 pixels. And this is 40 pixels of margin for this text. A little more spacing there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I feel like this should be wider. Let me preview it. Yeah, that's better. So when we preview it, I can make this smaller here just to get a better feel for it. Okay, so let's add the this right section. This is gonna be a grid section. I'm gonna make it a four by two grid uh, or a yeah, two, no, four by two. So for the hero right, we'll add, um, yeah, I think this should work. Um, yeah, so hero right, we'll say grid, and we'll say two columns and four rows, and click done, and then I'll say, I'll add a div, and we'll call this hero right, grid grid cell yeah and let's see you know um, I'm thinking now let's make the grid let's do eight rows it's gonna try this out eight rows and this grid cell will span it three, then we'll add another div. This one will span it four or five. We'll add another div and we'll span this, yeah, to five. And then we'll add another div and this will span like this. So and we'll just say hero right grid cell hero right grid cell hero right grid cell 
Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And let's go ahead for the hero right. Let's give it a specific height of 500 pixels or maybe 700. Let's just go in here and see what it is here. 650. So we'll say the height will be 650. And let's go ahead. I'm going to add some images to the assets panel. Just going to drag some of these images in here. Let's try that again. There we go. And we'll start adding some images, some background images. And we'll do this. Say cover, position it in the center. Yeah, we'll do, I like how it looks here. Um, so we'll say, yeah, okay, so let me, actually for this, we'll choose an image. Yeah, let's try that one. And then we'll say grid, we'll give it a combo class of two. Choose image. Let's try this. Yeah, and then we'll give it this one a combo class of three. Choose image. This one should be, yeah, that one. And then combo class of four. And I'm giving it a different combo class so we can. Um, you know, kind of change the styling a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. And I think they have a little bit, nope, they don't have a corner radius. All right, so let me just add a little bit of more grid spacing. So let me go in here, 32. So we'll say 32 by 32. Perfect. All right, so that looks good. And we're just gonna add some spacing in between this. So the hero left will add some margin of 100 from the right. And looks good. Yeah, that looks pretty much how it looks here. And we just gotta add a little bit of margin to the nav section, maybe 80. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so hero section is coming along. Let's move on to the the service. <clears throat> excuse me, services section. So we'll go ahead and add that. So add a section. We'll call this services section. And so we're gonna have a heading. This should be an H two heading. So. Yeah, let's add the section, let's add a div. I'll add a container. Looks good. And then we'll add another div and we'll call this um, services wrapper. Let's set it to flex, um, top and center. And I'll go ahead and add a heading. We'll make this H2 and I'll style the all, all H2 headings. And this will be 40 and 46 and play fair display. So play fair display 40 and 46. We'll make the color black. Okay. And what are the advantages that, what are the advantages that we provide? I'm gonna add some padding to the bottom of the hero section. Yeah, that looks good. Let's make this heading 
we'll call this services heading and we'll say maybe 30 ch make it 18 and we'll make it centered um, and for the section let me go ahead and add 100 pixels of padding to the top and bottom okay all right so that's the timer um, cool I'll just quickly add the uh, services wrapper should be vertical and centered. There we go. And this will be uh, service, call it service, services items wrapper. Okay, and we'll make it 100% width. And then we're going to add individual services item. And we're going to say for the services item wrap, we'll say flex, horizontal, align stretch, justify left. And then for the services item, we'll say grow if possible. And so we have three. And then we'll fill in each of these individually. I'll just create one. And then I'll just copy and paste um, to, to multiple. And then we'll, we'll create the services section. Then we'll create the slider, customer satisfaction section, uh, blog section, video, this uh, section here, uh, testimonials and footer. All right, so that's uh, casually building in Webflow workspace template part two. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that and got something out of it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.